First remove the blue tray. Second remove the disc and shoot from the tabletop. If tear off occurs near printer mounting bracket, what we are going to do is unclasp printer to relieve tension on the foil. Next, we will pull on foil material to gain some slack. Now we will begin re-threading material. Make sure material is underneath the print register, gaining a little more slack on foil material. Cut a V-shaped angle on material. Then slide threading tool through the unit, making sure you are between the tabletop and the guide rollers. Place masking tape on the threading tool to attach foil. Begin to slowly pull material through, making sure you have enough slack on the back to be able to push it down through the unit. You want to make sure the material is touching the pull-down rollers. Once you see this, manually rotate and cap screw until material feeds through the bottom of the unit. Once this is complete, reclasp printer. Next, we would re-thread the clear or amber material. Tape material to threading tool and push through unit. Again, making sure you are between the tabletop and the guide rollers. Tape and adhere clear or amber material to the foil. Manually rotate end cap screw, pulling material through the pull down rollers until it feeds through the bottom of the unit. After rethreading is complete, make sure the printer assembly is fully locked back into place. Safety interlock is placed back in the proper location, keyway clicking into interlock. Shoot is back in the proper location, number facing out. Blue tray is set back on and tightened down with the thumb screws. Set on disc and resume normal operation.